Welcome to Let's Build a Wheelie Jeep. Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install a complete exhaust system with clamps, muffler, and all the various pipes needed to attach to your Go Devil engine on 1947 CJ2A Wheelie's Jeep. The first pipe to be installed will be your exhaust manifold pipe, and this pipe will directly attach to your manifold on your engine using these two holes right here, and there'll be two bolts that will come out your manifold. Now I'm underneath the Jeep and we will install our exhaust manifold pipe first and we'll just push it up from underneath as it's the easiest and we'll just push it up through this hole right here right past our exhaust pipe heat shield. There's actually be a stud coming out of your exhaust manifold. This is where your exhaust pipe is going to push directly through for those two holes on the exhaust pipe. Or the other side is actually going to have a bolt and the bolt will be pushed directly through our exhaust manifold right through the pipe. Here is a top-down view of our exhaust pipe that will mate to the engine block manifold and as you can see there's a stud that comes directly out of our manifold and this will hold on our exhaust pipe. We'll use a lock washer and a knot to secure this side. The other side actually has a bolt that will actually put directly through the exhaust manifold right here go straight through the exhaust pipe, and then we'll secure with a lock washer a nut on this side. Here are the lock washers, nuts, and bolt we're gonna need. So on our left side, or on this side of our manifold, we will use a 3 8 lock washer and nut, and that will tighten on your left side, while your right side is your bolt here. This is your 3 8 bolt, inch and a half long fine thread with a lock washer and nut and that will be pushed directly through our exhaust pipe manifold right into our exhaust pipe on our right side. There also will be a gasket installed between our exhaust manifold on our engine block and our upper exhaust pipe and we will install our gasket once we have the rest of our exhaust pipe installed underneath our Jeep. And we're gonna make sure that we use some red RTV gasket maker to seal up this gasket. It's very important that we use this gasket sealer as it's designed for high temperatures. And as you know, your exhaust pipe will be very, very hot. On the left side, we will now put on our lock washer and nut on the side that has the stud coming out of our exhaust manifold. And we'll just screw it on loosely for now. With our left side loosely tightened, we can now move on to the right side where we put our bolt directly through our exhaust manifold, directly through our exhaust pipe. Install your bolt directly through the exhaust manifold, directly into your exhaust pipe, just pushing it down. Now thread on your lock washer and nut onto your bolt. With the upper portion of our exhaust pipe now installed and loosely tightened to our exhaust manifold on our engine, don't install the gasket yet until we get the rest of the pipe installed. And the pipe will run underneath the bottom of the Jeep and it will come out of the passenger corner. Next, we have to install our long exhaust tail pipe onto our exhaust manifold pipe, which we just installed. And your large exhaust tail pipe will attach to your muffler and then from your muffler it'll attach your end exhaust tailpipe. I am now under the Jeep and we can install the long exhaust tailpipe on the underside of the Jeep. Holding your exhaust tailpipe we'll have to push our large pipe over the rear axle so we can push it on to the manifold exhaust pipe. Push your exhaust pipe over the rear axle so we can now get the exhaust pipe over the transmission cross member and will be pushed all the way through the cross member until we can attach it to the manifold exhaust pipe and now our tailpipe will connect. Now push the exhaust pipes together, wiggling your tailpipe back and forth so it will seat all the way onto your manifold exhaust pipe. Now the exhaust manifold pipe and the tailpipe are now made together and now we can move on to the 
rear here, and that's where the muffler and the rear end tailpipe will be attached. Now the muffler can be attached to our rear exhaust tailpipe. Align your muffler in this direction with the small pipe on your left and the longer pipe on your right, and your muffler will now be installed onto your exhaust tailpipe. With the muffler in our hand and the small pipe towards your left side, we will now install the muffler onto our exhaust tailpipe. It will just slide on. Finally, it is now time to install our end exhaust tailpipe onto the muffler. Now we can install the end exhaust tailpipe onto our muffler and it will be orientated in this direction so your sharp curve is towards your muffler and the longer point is towards the end here and it will stick out past your bumper. Now we will install our end exhaust tailpipe and we'll just push it onto our muffler. Once you have your exhaust pipe partly installed onto the underbody of your Jeep here, we now need to use hangers to hang our exhaust pipe to the underbody of our Jeep to support the exhaust pipe. And I'll go over the hangers where we have them installed all throughout our exhaust pipe system all the way to the back. So the first hanger we have is the hanger that attaches to the cross member at the rear of our Jeep. We have a 90 degree piece of angle iron that creates 90 degrees and our hanger hangs from your angle iron and then it holds and hangs on to your exhaust pipe and the hanger we're using right here is this type with one of your clamps that hold it up and you really can use any type of hanger that works the best for the situation because all these hangers are kind of different we have here so i'll take you back here and i'll show you what we have done back here. I'm now at the very rear of the Jeep and we have hangers installed right at the muffler on each side. So on your left side we have this type of hanger just hanging where your muffler attaches to your long exhaust pipe coming from the engine. Here's a closer view of the hanger that hangs our long exhaust pipe to the muffler at the rear here. This right here is a hanger that attaches to a piece of angle iron that is attached and bolted directly to the frame of our Jeep. The angle iron bends down and then we have our hanger connected directly to it. And that's what hangs our exhaust pipe at the rear. These pieces of angle iron actually makes a big difference because you're able to make it 90 degrees so you can hang these hangers on. And then the other hanger we have installed is over here. This is where your muffler attaches to your rear pipe. This hanger is installed with a piece of angle iron at the very top. We have a bolt that goes directly through the frame on the side, attaches to the piece of angle iron, and then the hanger attaches to our piece of angle iron and hangs down and then hangs on our exhaust pipe. And then we also have your other very end exhaust tailpipe here. We have a hanger that attaches to this pipe, and this will support this pipe from shaking around. This hanger right here is installed to our rear exhaust pipe and it's just bolted right onto our bumper from with a bolt right here and then the piece of angle iron holds on our hanger and then hangs up our pipe. And that is how we have the hangers installed on the back part of the Jeep holding up our exhaust pipe coming from the engine all the way to the back. And now we have to install the clamps that will now connect our pipes together all throughout our exhaust system. Now we need to install the U-bolt onto the exhaust pipe and that is where your two exhaust pipes meet and join together. Install your U-clamp on the joints, just putting it together. Install the U-clamp so your nuts are facing upwards and now just hand tighten each of your nuts. Once you have your U-clamp tightened down with your nut and your lock washer, this right here is your inch and five eighths U-clamp. On this part where your two exhaust pipes connect and now we move on to the back and there's two more that have to be installed. The other two U-clamps are to be installed where your exhaust pipe connects to your muffler. So on 
your left side where it comes from the engine will be a u-clamp here and then on the other side right here on the other side of your muffler where your muffler attaches to your rear tailpipe and we'll just use the clamps and tighten on each side The complete exhaust system is now built from the engine block all the way underneath your Jeep, all the way out to the rear passenger bumper. And we have all of the hangers on, we have the muffler leveled out, we have all the clamps on. So now the roughing stage is done, now we can finalize our exhaust pipe. So we have to take off our long exhaust pipe that runs from our engine block all the way to the rear here so we can put in our gasket on the manifold. First, we need to take out our U-clamp that holds on our long exhaust pipe so we can slide out this pipe from our muffler. Looking at our long exhaust pipe from the rear of our Jeep working towards the front, we'll have to next take off this U-clamp right here that holds on our hanger that attaches to the cross member of our Jeep. We'll take this off. As we continue to work down our exhaust pipe, we'll also have to take off this U-clamp right here that holds our long exhaust pipe to the manifold exhaust pipe attached to the manifold exhaust on the engine. Now I'm at the rear of the Jeep and we can now pull our long exhaust pipe away from the muffler and disconnect them. Just give it a quick pound here and just come apart. Now with the two nuts and the bolt out of your manifold, we can now take the exhaust manifold pipe out of the Jeep. Now we can disconnect our long exhaust pipe from our exhaust manifold pipe and we'll just pull them apart as so, just giving a quick quick tug and it'll just come apart. And then our exhaust manifold pipe will just drop out. And now we can install the gasket on this end right here and get it torqued properly to the manifold on the engine. Now it's time to install our gasket onto our manifold exhaust pipe. This exhaust pipe attaches directly to our manifold on the engine block. And this gas right here will be installed on the top of our exhaust pipe as so, with the holes lining up. And we'll put our Permatex Red RTV gasket maker on both sides of our gasket to make a proper seal on the manifold. Apply your gasket maker to one side of your gasket first applying a nice even coat all the way around. Now install your gasket onto the exhaust manifold pipe, just pushing it on with the gasket sear facing towards your pipe, as so. And now you will kind of work it around a bit. And then we'll also add a little bit of gasket maker on the other side as well. I am now underneath the Jeep. We'll have to push up our exhaust pipe from underneath here. We'll have to go past our exhaust pipe heat shield and push our exhaust pipe up until we go through the stud on our exhaust manifold. Push your exhaust pipe until it goes through the stud on your exhaust manifold. Put on your lock washer and nut on the stud side, just hand tightening for now. On the other side, drop your bolt through the exhaust manifold right through your pipe, just pushing it down. And then we'll put on our lock washer and nut on this side, just hand tight for now. Once you got both nuts on, you can square up your exhaust pipe so we get a nice even seal with your gasket on your exhaust manifold. Once we get it hand tight, you want to make sure we have the gasket maker starting to squeeze out the ends here. 
and we'll just let this gasket maker sit for an hour before we torque our nuts to 30 foot pounds on both sides. I am now under the Jeep, but now we can torque those two nuts. So I have a torque wrench set up with two extensions on it with the socket, and we will set our torque wrench to 30 foot pounds, and we'll torque both of those nuts on the right and the left. Once you get your exhaust manifold pipe torqued to the exhaust manifold, we'll now follow the same steps that describe how to build your exhaust pipe. So you have to install our two pipes together. We have to install our upper pipe to the long exhaust pipe, use that clamp, tighten it up pretty snug. It will run the pipe all the way this way. And then we'll also have to tighten up our hanger clamp as well. And then we'll move all the way to the back. At the rear of the Jeep, we'll have to put our long exhaust pipe back into our muffler. We'll have to tighten up our U-clamp. We'll do that pretty tightly. Then we'll also have to tighten up our hanger on this side, on the left side of our muffler. Then moving to the right side, we'll also have to tighten up this hanger as well. We'll tighten up our U-bolt. Then we'll also tighten up the hanger on our tailpipe. And that is how you install your complete exhaust system under your CJ 2A Wheelies Jeep under L134 Go Devil Engine. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.